All right, guys, I have a question for you. How obnoxious is it when people start videos inside of a beacon? Well, I actually have a really good reason for it because we're at the spawn village. Uh, and in fact, today is going to be our server tour. Now, um, this episode is not only for my audience to kind of see what, what the server sort of looks like in different places and sort of be become acquainted with different people on the server, but it's also so that I can send new players to this video and they will know how to get to places right off the bat. Uh, without having to ask around um, or you know they just they just feel right at home uh, much quicker all right so when you spawn you actually spawn right here on top of this fountain so uh, and spawn protection is now off which means you can use this bed uh, let's go ahead and make it daytime is spawn yeah spawn protections off like I said <laughs> uh, wasn't sure for a second there anyway so this is the spawn village now, I mentioned in my last episode that uh, I was going to talk about, um, uh, we were going to have another courthouse. Well, um, Alamantis has been, has started building a library, or he started collecting resources for one, and he, he was under the impression that he had gone far enough away that whatever I had planned over here, there's no way he'd be in my way. Well, it turns out he actually is in my way. <laughs> um... But uh, I bargained with Alamantis, uh, and I mentioned to him that this is probably not going to be the spawn village anymore. Uh, for at, at some point, what we're going to do, uh, this is a design based on um, a, bu uh, a build that Arak did um, with the interiors built by uh, a Minecrafter named Black Soul. Um, now... What's probably going to happen is I'm going to move spawn just past that mountain and we're going to treat it like a normal spawn village where basically everybody has a plot and you know we just build around it um, and we're basically just going to handle it that way. So that's where the library is going to be and then this is just going to be something near the spawn village you can come visit. Um, that's, that's probably what's going to end up happening. Alright, so now let's go ahead and hop into the nether. This is going to be a bit of a weird recording. It shouldn't be too weird of a video, but recording-wise, it's going to, I'm going to have to do some tricky things. So, all right. So now we're in the spawn. Uh, the, uh, we're in the Nether Hub. By the way, the Nether Hub is going to change uh, in the near future, and I'm going to hop out real quick and show you what it currently looks like in the new design. All right. So here I am in the uh, creative server, and it looks like a lot of people have been building some stuff over here. Not sure exactly what they're planning. But uh, this is what I've been working on as the new nether hub. So by using this design instead of the current one, we can build in an odd number instead of an even number. And that's the whole point. Uh, that's the whole point of redesigning uh, the nether hub. And uh, here you can see different shapes. This is the one that represents my base. So these are up here temporary. They're actually going to be facing over that way. So when you come out of the out of the spawn village, you'll know. Okay, this way is north. This is towards Cypher's base. This way is east. This is towards Alamantis's base. This way is south. It's towards T Calhoun's base. And this way is west. It's towards Inverted Shadows base. Um, and then you'll know based on who's around those bases which way you're going. And that's just sort of the design we wanted to go with. Um, anyway, and then I've also got. Uh, I started something above ground here. A uh, little idea of, of having like a staircase because um, I want to have little shops and I'll get into those in a second um, on the uh, our existing um, uh, nether hub. But I just want to kind of show you guys where what the progress has been made on this. Uh, clearly not very much. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's go ahead and hop back in and uh, continue the real server tour. Alright, so I guess I should start by showing you the nether hub. Uh, so over here is... Uh, this is like the junction towards my base. So this would be like where I was going to put some shops. Um, and this is kind of like a sub nether hub for people that are in the north direction like me. Um, and then I've got this little thing. This was going to be something we were going to do around all the places where we we're going to have little mini biomes. Um, to kind of, because these are, uh, pro I thought these might end up looking too similar. So um, until the uh, shops get filled in. So I thought putting mini biomes here would help help you orient yourself and where you're going and then we've got this little system here where we've got even more shops down here you can go up uh, or you can go down here and enter the main part of the hub 
which we're going to go in a different way to see it. Uh, this is based loosely on the Minecraft um, one, plus some influence from the Hermitcraft one. That's why this is a, a uh, octagon instead of a circle. Found that to be much more efficient. Uh, and then in here, we've got, this is a miniature map. Uh, and since there's no gas in here, I'm going to go ahead and show you. You can see I've got um, nether quartz slabs acting as clouds. And then this is a miniature of my base. Um, this would be like the mob farm. I have a little witch hut over here that I haven't done anything with. Um, and then this is like the, the place where, where most of my base is, the library and stuff. And then this represents over here the spawn village. And then over here, this is our strong space, inverted shadows base. Uh, this would be T. Calhoun's base right here, which is where we're going to visit next. So this is T. Calhoun's base. Uh, over here, he's got a, a little village. Um, and then in the middle of the ocean, he's got a little area where his um, where his villagers are being stored because they were lagging his computer too much. Um, and then over here, he's got a little castle he started. Um, and then over here, if we go east from, uh, from the nether hub, um, we've got a witch hut over here, a mushroom island, which is uh, where the, ca the Alamantasino is, uh, as well as the dots and lines board and the battleship station and all that. Uh, and then over here, this is representing Alamantis's base. Um, actually, this ended up facing the wrong direction, but it looks better this way. Um, actually, for the new nether hub, we're not going to have this miniature map in here, I'm, I'm sorry to say. Now this is Pecos's base, and, and uh, I cannot wait to show you guys what that looks like, because he is an amazing builder. Um, anyway, now that we've got a lot of new players and stuff, this isn't feasible anymore. Um, maybe, I, I'm considering putting it way down on the floor of the uh, of the nether, um, so you can still sort of see a miniature version of the map. We can make it way bigger, because you're seeing it from farther away, so you can get a little bit more detailed. Um, and it might just be more interesting that way, who knows. Uh, but we're not going to keep up to date with it as we ha had tried to when there are a lot fewer members on the server. Anyway, let's see if I can do this. Ooh, oh, nope. Fail. Ah, there we go. And for those of you guys who don't know already, I have a Silk Touch bow that was crafted um, or turned into a Silk Touch bow in 12W49A when you could enchant anything with any enchanted book. Um, this is a record shop that I was going to start. Um, when hopper duplication happened, uh, I was working on my mob farm. And uh, I ended up accidentally... Uh, I was expecting to get some records because I started using hoppers. I'm like, oh cool, I can collect things now. And then of course hopper duplication ended up giving me a ton of duplicates. So um, that's what that's about. And then this is going to be an ender chest shop. A place where you can buy ender pearls, ender chests, and all that. Um... And then these are just more shops, so I'm just gonna go ahead and we're gonna keep moving because that's not there's not really a whole lot to see there, and I can't I can't dedicate a whole lot of time to each spot. Um, so now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at T Calhoun's base, um, and you just go down here and you go straight for a while. All right, I did speed that up, but it's actually a very it's probably the closest uh, spot to the hub, unless. NAC 303s might be a little bit closer. I'm not sure. Um, I left him this sign a long time ago when he had a dog here and I was joking with him because creepers kept coming through the portal. So every time you go to the nether, they'd blow up. Now, T. Calhoun has not been on in a while and uh, I think he might be moving because that chest is empty. That's my... What am I doing? That's my, <laughs> my ender chest. Um, now, T. Calhoun set up a little... Um, this is one aspect of his base and he set up a little room area this would be like where he set spawn and then he has little guest rooms over here and I claimed this one and you guys will have to watch back one of my really early episodes but um, there's a uh, a pickaxe here where he lost a pickaxe that was sort of my fault so I, I cloned one of the ones I had but he didn't want to take it and then he eventually found his pickaxe so I took the other one and made a little monument to it right here uh, and then T. Calhoun leaves, I left this stuff here, and T. Calhoun, you're welcome to it if you want it. But he leaves uh, some food and coal uh, for people to, to use. Um, and then this one over here is currently unclaimed. So, uh, anyway, moving on. Let's see if there's anything over there. I don't think there's anything. I haven't been here in a while. 
Um, but uh, yeah, let's see. We go this way. Actually, that's a lie. I was here yesterday. <laughs> I have been here in a while. Um, and in fact, a creeper blew up, and I had to put this map back up here. Um, and it looks like T. Calhoun started to burn down. I look at uh, Alamantis has his gold shrine still up here too. Um, but T. Calhoun, I guess, burned down his uh, apartment complex because it was causing too much lag. Um, and uh, you can tell he hasn't been on a whole lot. Because my Christmas present uh, is still up here. Um, anyway, so that's basically his base. Um, there's a bit more to it, but um, I don't think the... I think he took it down up there, so... Um, we're going to keep moving on, because otherwise... Actually, you know, we're going to go through here real quick. I don't remember... I, I can't remember what it is, but I, I'm pretty sure I remember him having something on out on this side, too. Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong thing, though. Oh, cool. That was left open. Alright. Yeah, that's what I thought. I was going to say, it's normally closed. Um, okay, yeah, so there's nothing out here. Let's go ahead and... Cobblestone. Let's go ahead and uh, head over to the next place. I wonder if he logged out while it was in... The... Or maybe the button keeps it open. That's probably what it is. You're supposed to run through to close it. That's what it is. Anyway, let's get, let's get moving because we got a lot of things to cover today. All right, so we're back here at the hub now. Um, so the next place I want to look, because most of the bases are over here, so I'm going to... Oh, here. Um, that must be QB's place. Um, most of the bases are in that direction, so I'm going to head over to this direction and kind of get this one out of the way. So I believe um, this will take you to our strong. Um, and we're just going to pop in at his base, but we're going to come back to it again later towards the end of the tour. All right, so as you can see from the signs, to the hub, to towards Cypherus, and this is toward Inverted Shadow. Now, um, I'm not going to spend any time going down here. I don't think he actually ended up, well, I guess we will go down here. I don't think he actually ended up going all the way, but um, I let our Stong know, yeah, there's nothing over here, um, that there's actually a another mushroom biome over in this direction, pretty close to his base, so... Um, let's go ahead and pop in at our Stong's base real quick so we don't... Just, just to kind of register where we are. Let's see, he took out his... This way, which is the way I like to use. So, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys. Um, we'll come back here in a little bit. Uh, actually, you know, I'm going to go this way because next time we're going to take the... Uh, next time we'll take the, uh, the railway back. Um, so, this is the way to... Uh, through our strong space. There used to be a rail line that went down there. That's what the redstone torches are for and stuff. Um, and here's a nice little outpost he's got here. Um, I've mentioned in the past that our strong has the largest base in terms of, um, like, uh, in terms of how much it's taken up geographically uh, compared to anybody else on the server, I believe. I still think that's true, actually. Um, so here's a little viewing platform. Um, wow, you can't even see it from here, though. And I don't want to jump. Yeah, I guess I could. Um, all right, so let's continue. Um, I just want to go until we can see it, and then I'll zip around, and we'll, we will come back to our Stong's base later. All right, so here you can see our Stong's main base area. And he also still has the Christmas present, but I think he's actually put it to use. Um, and I should also mention that T. Calhoun does have a YouTube channel with videos from the server, but he's only recorded three at the moment. Um, and, uh, you know, it's it's understandable because the majority of the people who joined um, the server when I started it are people I knew from school. So they're, they're roughly the same age as I am. And that means that, like me, uh, they are busy working and, and doing stuff like that. Now, I just have a, a different sort of job than most people, so... Um, I, at times, will have chunks of time to record, uh, whereas other people are busy all the time. So um, I just wanted to kind of bring that up. But, uh, yeah, so I guess I can, it'd be a good idea for me to sort of explain, you know, when people joined and, and how I met them. Um, both Arstong and T. Calhoun were in 
the grade below mine in high school um, when I met them. And, uh, you know, they've been playing since basically when I started the server um, a couple of years ago. Um, and, you know, like I said, lately they've not been on so much due to work and whatnot. But uh, anyway, now I'm going to go ahead and let's see. Uh, let's go back to the hub because I'm going to I'm going to end, I think, the tour with um, Inverted Shadow. Yeah. What? And uh, now, yeah, <laughs> now it's stuck. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed during that that little bit of a time lapse, but I was trying to hit this key to get my mouse to keep, like I'm not touching the keyboard at all right now. I'm just moving the mouse around, and that allows me to continue moving in one direction. Um, anyway, um, you know, I guess I should show you C boss uh, while we're here. Um, because that's going to be another part that I'm going to wrap around to at the end. So let's go down this way. Seaboss is an incredible builder as well. Now, actually, I don't know Seaboss uh, in real life. Um, he was friends with Alamantis and Arstong, I believe. Uh, and I'm really happy I let him on the server because he's really brought uh, a very unique eye to the server. And I really like what he's done. Um... So let's go ahead and yeah, he's, he doesn't build in straight lines. <laughs> no, he, he's great. Um, uh, but yeah, usually people like, I don't know what I did with most people is I had them go. Um, like, I guess what he's working on right now is he's going to, he's probably going to fill this, um, whole thing. So it's like encased, but what most people do is I, I will dig from one of the main tunnels off to where theirs are. Um, and this is kind of cool too. He's got little um, different outputs. I've actually never been through this portal. Let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, yeah, I think we're still part of his base, um, which is cool. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and check it out. I don't know what that does. I'm a little scared. Yeah, so he's just got a little outpost out here. That's pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and check out his real... I'm confused as to what that's for. <laughs> Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get to his real base. It came from that way, I think. Yeah. Got a cool little way up here. Oh, look at that little baby. Uh... It's funny how the babies don't have faces. Uh, I'm sorry, they don't have hat layers on their on their skin. I don't know where to go from here. Um, I think this is to the tunnel. We're going to leave this one for possibly later. And here we're going to go down. And we're just going to look at his base. Because it's a pretty impressive base. Yeah, he's got another way over from this part. I think those are both coming from the tunnel. Alright, so here's, here's his base. And here's his workshop, as it's labeled. And now let's go to his fortress, but let's let's not stay long because we are going to come back to this towards the end. And it is incredibly easy to get lost in his base. But here's the main base. This is pretty cool, I think. He's been building into the walls of a cave. Um barely changing anything with the original topology of the cave just kind of leaving it as, as he found it and doing minor 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 tweaks in order to dig uh, and put his um, uh, his different um, uh, you know what are these called his castle like blocks um, stone bricks into it anyway um, and by the way Seabos uh, just so you know this is not a good idea. You won't be... I don't think it recognizes when you sleep here a set spawn. Maybe that's how he gets to the iron farm when when he needs to get there. Um, actually, I moved spawn back, but that was a joke. Uh, anyway, so we're going to go ahead and leave, and we will we'll check out the outside of his base uh, when we um, 
are done at the end of the tour. We got a lot of places to look at and not a lot of time to do it in. Um, I had to empty out like hundreds of gigs worth of stuff in anticipation for this recording because I, I mean the, the video file won't be that big uh, in the long run but the recording itself is going to be huge um, due to the oops, uh, due to the the recording I have to do with that I'm turning into like a time lapse so uh, we're going to go ahead now and head back to the hub so I will catch you guys back when I get there. This is kind of cool. I, ne I didn't really realize before, but you can actually see the path um, that goes towards my base from here. Um, so that's pretty cool. I, I wonder what we'll the look when we go that way, if you can see this over there. Um, all right, so now let's see. We visited T. Calhoun. Uh, we visited Arstong briefly, and we visited Seaboss uh, briefly. Um, Seaboss as I said before, is somebody I don't personally know in real life, but um, I'm very happy to have him on the server. Um, he does not actually even have a YouTube channel. Uh, R. Strong has a YouTube channel, and it's and as usual, it's linked in the description of my videos, but the one that is currently linked there at, at this moment um, does not have any videos on it that are from the third echelon server, um, if it has any videos on it at all. All right. Now that we're back here, I'm going to head towards QB's, uh, the newest member of the server, QB. I'm going to head towards his base. Ah, stuck. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I kind of wish I brought a gift. Um, and as you can see here, and I'm going to skip this, or actually, well, yeah, I guess I'll skip it now. Uh, there's a walkway from there, too. So you can, there's more than one way to get here. And I will show you guys that later. So here's, oh our way to QB. Now, I can't show what's on the other side uh, because um, he hasn't shown it yet. I'm going to go there, but I'm going to cut it if I have to. Okay, guys, this is all I really want to show. I don't want to show too much because he's been working really hard, but his next video hasn't come out yet, so I don't want to show off uh, what he's been doing. But uh, he's a, another great builder got a different type of mind than a lot of the other guys on here um, so I'm gonna leave before I show anything that that gives away too much um, of what he's been working on oh I got hurt that hurt <laughs> uh, anyway so now I'm gonna head back to the hub again and I just want to say that these ice roads are a lifesaver they are way way faster than than rail so um, I'm definitely going to be putting one in towards my base eventually. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is that you have to have that, like, um, you have to be able to, like, what's the word? You, you need to be able to hit the ceiling. So for my ice road, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to have a switch you can flip that is going to activate a bunch of trap doors to pop down so you can use that and they don't always have to be exposed. Or I don't know. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it. Anyway. Time to go to towards Alamanthus's base. He's at the end of this rail line. Now, right here, this door, this just goes down into the nether up here. You can kind of go up, check out some stuff up here. Uh, and then this part at the moment goes sort of down towards part of the um, nether hub junctions, which is obviously going to be changed. A lot of this is going to change in the future. Um, like literally just about everything I'm showing you is going to be changing in some way in the future. Now, if I continue this way, I think... QB, yeah, this is the way to QB space. So we're not going to go down that road. We just showed it. Um, now we're going to check out Koala, Koala's base. All right. He's got a really cool build style. I, I dig this. I really like the way that looks. Um, stone brick, if you guys haven't guessed, is my favorite block in the game. Um, my favorite building material. My favorite accent material is um, um, redstone lamps. I definitely dig the way those look. Oh man, I cannot believe they haven't fixed the um, water and um, nether portal showing through particles thing yet. That's so annoying. Anyway, so here we are. Looks like he's got a horse with iron ho horse armor. That's cool. I haven't actually gotten any horse armor yet, though I found a ton of name tags. Oh cool, he put his portal inside of the jungle temple. 
Um, Koala uh, is somebody that I found on Reddit, and he is one of those redstone guys that's so smart that he he actually builds computers in Minecraft using redstone. Um, and uh, I asked him if he was interested in joining a whitelisted server, and you know the rest is basically history. Uh, he's he's a pretty cool guy. I definitely like having him on here. If you haven't guessed, he's from Australia, and uh, uh, I guess I should also bring up where people are from. So um, um, let's see. Um, I'm from America, and I guess yes. Yeah, so is everybody else we've visited so far, um, it, uh, with you know now with the exception of Koala. So uh, I'm just trying to get up high so we can look at from a, a nice angle. We can kind of see what he's done. Uh, he has completely. Uh, he had example. I think it was. I think it was example. And I, um, we came down and we helped him clear out a bunch of trees. Uh, he was kind of left kind enough to let me keep any of the ferns I gathered using uh, shears. Um, so let's go ahead and see what the inside of this area looks like real quick. Um, he does not make videos on the server because his channel is uh, sort of dedicated to what is this? Is this an elevator system? No. S still very cool. Um, his channel is devoted to redstone, uh, which is totally fine. Uh, people on the server do not have to make videos about the server. Um, there's nothing in the like when you agree to be a member. There's nothing that says that. So anyway, I just wanted to kind of show you. This is a really cool build. Nice area. Look at it one more time. Um, and then, unfortunately, like I said, we can't spend too much time at anybody's base. Um, okay, that's where we came in with the. Uh, nether tunnel you know in fact i'm just gonna be leaving because looks like we're gonna get lost if we stay here and since this is not anywhere near the end of our tour i don't want to get lost at this place um anyway so i'm gonna go ahead and head back um i i highly suggest you check out some of his redstone stuff he's really really talented Alrighty, so let's head back to the uh, tunnel where Alamantis, or we call it Alamantis' tunnel because it was originally the tunnel towards his base. And for whatever reason, 90% of the people who joined decide to build their base somewhere near his tunnel to the point where we end up putting their tunnel attached to his. So anyway, um, looks like we're already back. So let's go ahead and continue this tour. Um, again, this direction you can sort of see right now, that's the nether hub. So if the rail is on the right, that means you're heading towards Alamantis' base. And if the rail is on the left, that means you're heading towards the nether hub. All right, I believe um, it's either Kashi or, or Macho Dagger's base is going to be coming up on our right. Uh, I can't remember which one's first. It's it looks like it's Macho. I give him a hard time about how, how gross his tunnel looks because it gets shot at by gas so often. And he just replaces it with whatever random block he has. Yeah. <laughs> you can see Kashi's right over there. Some glass. Yeah. Um, then an upside down spruce wood slab. Upside down slabs. Yeah, I joked around with him one time that it looks like the dirt house in the Corrales intros. Just um, an amorphous blob of different materials. Alright, so here we are at Macho's base. And I don't know if he's shown it in a video yet, but here's his new building. Um, this is where the uh, Eiffel Tower once stood that we took down. Uh, and I'm just going to... I'm not going to look in the inside of that in case he hasn't shown it off yet. I don't cannot remember i've seen it before i was here with him one time um donating something to him look more iron horse armor um but uh um anyway here's this cool little mountain or mountain fountain <laughs> not to be confused with mountains his to-do board and uh his storage unit um and that's about all the time we're going to spend here it's got a cool little dock over there it's nighttime i don't want creepers to blow up over here because they're they've had a history of doing that when I'm at his base, so I'm just gonna get out of here. But this is his base. Uh, you can see he's got a desert well over there. One last look. All right, let's move on. All 
Um, I Macho, I think, is the first person to join the server that nobody knew. Uh, well, he's definitely the first person to join the server that none of the previous members knew in real life. But he might also be the first person to join the server. Look at that. What obscure thing do I have that I could put there? Let's put this there. There you go. He's the first person to join the server. Um, he might potentially be the first person to join the server that um, that I didn't know, that nobody knew. Sorry. Oh my gosh, what am I trying to say? He may have joined the server before CBoss. I can't recall. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, all right, so here's Takashi's base. Uh, I don't know what this is supposed to mean. I know BBL is a cheater. I don't know what almost safe means. But let's go ahead and uh, get my bow out just in case. And this is sort of a long trip, uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and time lapse this one. Ooh, I got a glass bottle. <laughs> I bet BBL or somebody, most likely BBL, drank a potion, maybe a speed potion, and threw the bottle back. Uh, I'm going to put it in your chest, Kashi, by the way, to Kashi's base. Kashi Killer is his uh, in-game name. Kashi is from Israel, um, which is cool. I'm just going to stick this back in here for him. And uh, I just want to show off a little bit of his base. He's got a pretty cool thing set up. It looks like this is going to be a huge smelting room. Um, and over here, uh, he's doing this cool thing. Actually, this is where, if you watch what happens when you try to right click on, on a fence. If you, I'm right clicking on it and it, it doesn't go to dodge. I was showing Kashi and, and Macho this at his base one time. Um, I, I don't think I've ever gone down here. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is cool. There's a little house he's been working on. Um, Kashi, I think, posts videos on his channel not very often. Yeah, wait for you to place that and I'm going to kill you. Because those do not come back. Anyway, so Kashi's got a cool little house built down there. Um, and then he's got a little city he's starting, which is really, really cool. I, I'm, I'm very happy to see that people are building little villages and stuff, because that's something I really like to see on the server. Um, you know, not required, but it's just it's just cool. You know, I, I like it better than when people build their entire base underground. There's nothing to see when people come to visit and stuff. I um, just want to see if I can see anything more. Yeah, yeah, there's a little path down here. Um, that's a pretty cool little way he's got. Oh, almost fell. Almost fell to my death. I don't know if that would have killed me. Maybe. Probably not. Um, anyway, so yeah, he's got a cool little system down here that he's been working on. Um, so this is all I want to show right now, because like I've said before, that, Kashi, I think that looks awesome. I think he did a great job right there. That looks really cool. Um, I've got a lot of places to, to get to. Uh, Kashi, it'd be really cool, actually, if you had water coming down here and then pooling up behind this and then had like a little dam where it turned into like a little fountain right here. That'd be pretty cool. Um, but it's your decision. It's up to you. Um, I really dig this house. Sorry I didn't comment on the uh, on the picture you post on the Third Echelon Facebook group. Um, I've been super busy, just trying to you know trying to keep the videos coming because if I don't, they they'll stop. <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna head back to Alamance's rail line. So uh, I'll check back with you guys. In oh, I ran out of food. Uh oh. Uh oh, that's not good. Dang it. All right, well I'll check back with you guys in a bit. Oh crap. I don't even know where that's coming from. Anyway, we're back, so that's good. Alright, once again, if the rail is on your left, you're heading towards the uh, nether hub. But we're going this direction, towards Alamance's base, so the rail's on our right. And I am going to fill that in. And I'm going to continue this way. Now, there's going to be something coming up, I think, on our left real quick. Um, and I'm going to pop down there. Yeah, I believe this goes to Pecos. Yes, I believe this. Let's, let's go ahead and head down real quick. All 
All right, so um, I'll come back this way in a minute, but when you're coming from that area that had the spruce wood there, um, if you take a right right here, I believe this goes to Taco's base. So uh, I'll get back to that in a second, but we're gonna continue this way towards Pecos. Um, and it's actually a little bit tricky to show you guys everything because there's multiple ways to get to certain places. So right now we're heading towards Pecos' base coming from Alamance's tunnel, but there's also more than one way to get there simply from where my base is. Like there's literally two or three routes just from there. So um, but for now, let's just go ahead and continue here and I'll show you. We're actually very, very close, so. Don't know what that dirt's all about. But that down there is Pecos's tunnel. And ugh, oh my god, I cannot fall. Phew. And this over here is a tunnel that will take you to my base. Um and uh you know what? I'll just go ahead and This here is what I wanted to show you, the uh, the slabs, because I'll be able to, without actually having to go all the way to my base, I'll be able to bring this up later when I'm there. Um, Pecos is one of the last places I want to visit, because he's one of the most impressive builders we have. If I had a... Uh, do I... I'm just thinking about... <laughs> I'm, I'm so desperate for food. I'm considering making a uh, mushroom stew right now. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a couple of these with me, just in case I found find some brown mushrooms on the way. Otherwise, we could get food when we get to the mushroom island because I've I've not only have I got some there, but also I can get some mushroom stew. For now, uh, as you can see, I just came from the place where Pecos' base was. This will take us to Alamantis' base, but I just want to show you guys, you can also take this path over here and head to Taco's base. Are there any mushrooms? Still looking for mushrooms. All right, so it looks like we're here. This is Taco's base. Uh, now, I also want to mention that there is a path you can take uh, f directly from Alamantis' base to Taco's base. Now what that means is that if you're trying to get to Pecos's base, like for instance, let's say you're Alamantis and you want to get the, the quickest way to Pecos's base, you could go down your rail line, stop at Taco's base, uh, where it branches off, come down here to Taco's base, skip Taco's base, head this way and make a right and you'll be at Pecos's base. Um, so I'm gonna pop in real quick and look at Taco's base. I'm really impressed. He's done a lot of, uh, well he's made some progress that he didn't have before. Really, really great builder. Why is it always got to be nighttime? I don't want that to happen. Every time I come to hit Taco's base, I, I blow up a creeper. Um, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and sleep at Taco's base to make it daytime. Let's see if I can borrow some food from him. Ooh, cool. All right. Let's make a day. Scared me. <laughs> All right. Let's see. He's got some food in here. Uh, nothing really good, though. <laughs> nothing that would be worth taking. I'm going to take your rotten flesh because you're not going to have a hard time getting more of that. Uh, anyway, uh, all right, so I'm going to come back to Taco's base uh, in a bit. It looks like a maybe a creeper explosion happened here. Um, wasn't me, thank goodness, but I apologize. I feel bad for you, I should say, uh, that that happened because that sucks every time. Anyway, I'm going to continue and we'll come back here. Whoa! That wasn't fun. Okay, now I'm going to continue to head towards Pecos' base. And by the way, if you ever get stuck here and you're lost, Pecos' base is the one that drops down one.
All right, here we go. Now, once again, that's towards Pecos. This is towards Alamantis' rail line, so we're going to head that way. Okay, here we go. Now we're up here. Um, now, again, left side, you're going towards the nether hub. Right side, you're heading towards Alamantis' base. Now, I've been curious as to what this is doing here. I think this is blocking something. Nope, looks like somebody just needed to empty something out of their inventory, and they didn't want to put it in a chest or throw it to despawn. That's totally cool. That's something I would do just to not, you know, get rid of a resource you could use. Uh, now I'm going to use it. Thanks, thanks whoever left that there. So very shortly we should run into, I believe, there's one of two options. This is actually, yeah, this is this one. All right, while I was working on Alamantis's trail, I put a little thing down here that takes you straight to this nether fortress. That's all this is. It's nothing special. It just takes you to a nether fortress. Now, let's continue. We're really close. Well, I guess we're... Our next place uh, is to go down to the Mushroom Island. Um, and I'm going to finally get some food there, so that's good. Because this isn't my favorite way to do things. I'm going to try not to spend too much time anywhere. Because uh, I don't want to run out of hard drive space while I'm recording. Because then I'll be... I'll be out of luck. Well, it's pretty ironic that I would just say that because I actually just ran out of hard drive space. Uh, so now I'm actually recording to a portable drive that is plugged in through Thunderbolt. Now, Thunderbolt is 20 times faster than USB 2.0. And to give you an idea of how fast that is, uh, the recording I just had done up to this point... What the hell, guys? Who's doing this? Who took my wood? <laughs> uh, by the way, QB ended up being the one that took this stuff. And I was totally kidding when I was harping on that. So don't worry about it, man. Anyway, uh, the recording I just did went up to about... Um, the recording went up to 123 gigs. And it took me about 15 minutes to transfer that over to the portable drive. Now, the one thing I didn't want to have to do, though, is... is in transferring that to the portable drive, I am now recording on the portable drive, and I just, I didn't want to have to do that if I didn't have to, but apparently I do. So, anyway, uh, let's get back to this, but I guess I don't have to worry so much because I've got three terabytes free on the portable drive, so um, I'm not not as worried um, about that. But anyway, um, so here we go. This is the future side of the Alamantis Sino. Um, I don't know if Alamantis has noticed, but I've actually been putting... Uh, more and more gravel in here as I as I find it um, for the for the gravel game, which is a cool game. Uh, got some Alamantis stuff over here, um, and then in the video where I built this guy, um, I talked about how I thought Alamantis was searching for gravel, and then I ended the video or I ended that portion of the video saying like, oh no, no it must not have been gravel because he left so much of it behind. Uh, well, I actually realized shortly after that that he was searching for coal, uh, and he actually confirmed that on the Facebook group that that's what he was looking for. Um, anyway, I don't know why I took the time out of, out of this video to go and show you that, but uh, let's go ahead and once again, um, I'm going to show you guys how to get up here, because this is really the only other thing besides the Alamantasino uh, that's actually been worked on, um, on at the Mushroom Island. Oh. So I'm just going to pop up here and hopefully not fall again. There we go. And up. All right. So here we go. Um, this didn't actually make it into the video where we did the dots and lines things. I want to talk about, um, you guys, I believe, saw me working over here and building this. But you didn't see me work on this one. And something really cool happened where um, it actually opened up into a cave right here. So I can actually, I can actually go down here and get out. So if you fall... Um, if you were to fall down over here, and I also notice there's a big cave underneath here, which is a weird way this is generated, but if you fall off of this boat, uh, you can come down this way. Currently, you can go up right there, but that's going to be closed off in the future. But you can always come up this way, um, and you'll be able to get back onto the, uh, to the game ship. Anyway, 
Um, I did a little bit more work on this thing since the last episode, um, but I, oh, lame. But I didn't bring any, uh, I accidentally, uh, in my last episode, I took all my glowstone, so I ended up not being able to work much on this. Um, but I just laid out uh, all this stuff, and it's looking pretty nice. I'm, I'm definitely digging it. Anyway, so that's about enough of this. Um, let's go ahead and continue the tour. So, let's see. Right now we're at the Mushroom Island. That means that the next place we're probably going to visit uh, is going to be Taco's Base. Um, by the way, one of the ways you can get out of here is to go up here. And then it's a little bit tricky because you get stuck underneath that leaf. But you can get up this way. Um, the other way is to just uh, come down over here. Um, now, let's get out of here. All right, and you know what? I'm gonna go back real quick and grab some food. All right, that's taken care of. Uh, so let's see, the next place we're probably gonna be visiting is going to be Taco's base, um, which we briefly entered. Um, I'm gonna give you a tiny bit more of a tour, um, if that's in fact where we're going, I believe it is. This is to El Taco's place. You know, actually, I found out recently that that's not how his name is spelled. Believe it or not. And I'm shocked because I didn't realize. It's actually, or let's put it here. I underscore underscore taco underscore underscore I. Um, I believe that's how it's spelled. So there's actually only uh, two underscores each time instead of three. Um, so let's go ahead and head this way. And in case you're wondering about this, all this um, cobblestone, yes, in fact, I did have one of the item ID 8 waters on me at one time, and I got so fed up with this lava that I placed it somewhere. Um, I actually placed it accidentally because um, I was fed up with the water trying to get it to stop flowing, and uh, that ended up happening. So, oh well. No use crying over spilt lava or water. Uh, looks like somebody fell and pillowed back up right here. I feel like I'm running... Uh, something about the nether. I always feel like I'm moving slow. Ooh. Got one more. Good. Um, yeah, so I don't know when what we're going to do about the, the new nether hub and, and how it's all going to work out, but I definitely think I definitely think the whole place is going to look better. All right, so, so just to clarify, we came from Alamantis' tunnel. You could take this tunnel and then take a right and go to Pecos. But we're going to now go and take a little bit of a closer look at um, Taco's base. And it's daytime, so that's great. And since I was able to get some food, I'm going to put back the rotten flesh that I took. Now, Taco is one of the youngest members on the server. I think he just turned 15, 14, something like that. But he's also one of the most talented builders on the server. Um, and ta by talented, I mean he thinks very differently than we do. And that's what that's what really is interesting, to see a person's base that doesn't think the same way that you do. So here we've got his enchanting room. And then up here, nope, up here we've got Macho Dagger's room. And you guys might remember I did a little joke one. Here's Examples Room. I did a little joke on him when uh, where I built a penthouse suite for myself. Uh, that he has since taken down, but that's, whoa, that's totally okay. I can totally understand. I wonder if, I wonder if this got struck by lightning, because it looks like it burned down a little bit, um, over here. But, uh, here's Taco's base. He's got a really cool little bridge over there that, um, and that looks really cool. He can make a really sick looking dam, uh, going into this ravine, um, if he wanted to. And let's see... Got a cool jungle over there. This is a, a really nice place, actually. I really dig his uh, his location. Uh, when Taco first joined the server, um, in fact, actually, believe it or not, Taco was the very first person um, on the internet to ask me to join Third Echelon. Uh, he waited a couple months. So did uh, Macho Dagger. Uh, they both waited several months because, um, like, you know, when I add people to the server, I don't want people who just want to play. You know, and I want people who want to be a part of this specific community 
um, and they want to continue to make this place great. Um, so Taco showed that he was really dedicated and um, he was let onto the server and it's been a really great thing to have him. Uh, by the way, Taco is from Spain. And um, I don't think I mentioned where Macho is from. Macho, if you hadn't guessed by his accent, is from um, London, England, some something like that. Some place, some place British. Uh, anyway, so let's head back to Alamantis's tunnel. All right, so let's go ahead and continue. This will take you down towards Alamantis's uh, tunnel, if you were taking the minecart there. Uh, but first, we're gonna we're gonna head towards. This will take you towards um, Examples Tunnel, but we're actually gonna branch off and head to Big Bad Losers Tunnel first. And you can see here that the ice road is incredibly fast compared to what you would be um, taking the um, the minecart. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a hell of a lot of food, so I'm probably gonna end up uh, time lapsing in a minute when I run out of food, but we'll see. Let me go ahead and eat some. See how far we can get. I never grabbed any more. I don't think I ever saw any more um, brown mushrooms to grab, so let's just see how far we can get. Alrighty, so this is the way to BBL's tunnel, and I guess we're going to go that way and maybe we can grab some food from him. Um, if only I had some mushrooms I could use to make some food. Maybe he's got something around him somewhere. Don't want to spend too much time looking, but it would be a good idea if we found some real quick, because I'm running low on food. Nope, nothing over here. Bummer. All right. Mm, maybe? Nope. I guess we're just going to have to cut. I'm going to search. I'll, I'll speed through this. Nothing. Jeez. Well, that sucks. Oh, my God. Come on. A bunch of red mushrooms. Any brown? Any? No? Maybe? Ah. All right, well, I'm going to start starving in a minute, but uh, we're going to look on the way, and I will just go ahead and keep uh, speeding through this. Well, now I'm starving to death. I thought for a second that I got attacked by that pig man, but I didn't. Wow. Aren't brown mushrooms supposed to be more common? Um, well, on the bright side, um, this server is on normal difficulty as opposed to hard. And I stood by that in the beginning uh, based on the idea that um, it was just obnoxious to have to continually replace um, wooden doors uh, that zombies were breaking down. Because um, in single player mode on hard, that can be interesting and fun. But on multiplayer, it's just, oh, cool. Not the same, uh, the same deal. Because on multiplayer, um, you don't really get to sleep whenever you want to, like you do in single player. So I just opted to put us into um, normal difficulty instead of hard. Um, and because of the dis the uh, additions that they've added to the game and the difficulty they've added to it I'm kind of glad that we're not playing on hard uh, I'm watching the guys on on Minecraft right now playing in like UHC mode where they don't regenerate um, hearts unless they have like golden apples or potions and stuff and uh, I can't imagine having any fun playing that way because um, it's hard enough to make a YouTube series uh, when you've got, well, I mean, I guess they don't, they do that more of, as a living thing. So, um, I guess it's a little bit different for them, but for somebody like me, uh, who has another job on top of this, uh, it's hard to get anything done as it is. <laughs> um, anyway, so the bottom line is that, oh, look, redstone. I can't believe you just threw out a stack of redstone, BBL. Shame on you. 
Food? Food? Empty. <sighs> the worst part about no food is that you can't run. <laughs> I think I think we can all agree, especially in this situation that we're in. Well, I guess it's not so bad for you because I get to speed through a lot of this, but uh, or sorry, you get to speed through a lot of this. I get to I get to walk. Um, so yeah, this is BBL's tunnel idea. He's made it look as though he's in the overworld, um, which is cool. The only thing that doesn't make it look like it's in the overworld um, is the uh, the fog at the end is red instead. Um, also, there's you need some other things. Yeah, he's got some he's got some uh, some gold, which is cool. Definitely a cool idea. Um, uh, if you need some, uh, what are they called? Um, cobwebs. Let me know, BBL. I'd be happy to give you a couple. I don't remember where I put them in my base, but uh, if I find them, I'll give you some. And here we are, finally. Guess who's back? Back again. Is it? Oh, I don't know. I don't know what I expected from there. Um, all right, so he's got his sand quarry. Um, is there any food I could snag? There's some rotten flesh, lucky me. Dang it. <laughs> Are there any mushrooms down here? I am the only person who has a mushroom farm. Well, actually, I don't have it anymore. I took it out, but I used to have a mushroom farm right near my nether base. Um, cause you know, why not here? <laughs> anyway, so he's got two portals here. One here and one here. We're going to go through this one first. I actually don't recall where this one went. I looked at this a, a couple days ago, maybe a week or two ago, actually. And I just don't remember. I think, yeah, this is something that I don't want to sneak around in. Um, this might take you to his skeleton farm. So actually let's go ahead and, uh, look because that would be important. That's actually something I wanted to show people. Um, you know, cause the, the whole point of this tour is to show people how to get to places that they might've been curious where to, how to get there, such as the witch farm. And in this case, the skeleton farm. Um, now, this skeleton farm is actually also an XP farm, um, obviously. So um, let's see if we make it there. This might be, I was going to say this might be a branch mine, but there aren't any branches. So I kind of doubt that. All right, let's see what's over here. Um, and this is not even his skeleton farm so that was a bust uh and i don't think i'm gonna be able to show where it is unless we can see it from here which we can't um all right well rather than go back down there um i'm gonna go ahead and go through this portal um and just demonstrate where the portal is look at that that's awesome he's got like a a tar pit with a uh um like a mammoth so I'm just going to pop in here real quick. Um, and I'm doing this to register with you guys where we are. So we just came through that portal. Um, and now, as you saw, we came through here. I'm just going to go back again through this portal to show you. Um, oh, yeah. So it says behind Skelly Farm, Slime Farm, Shrimp Farm. So, yeah, I must have just gone the wrong way. But that would take you there. But uh, I've wasted enough time. So let's go ahead and look at this. Now, uh, I actually really like Big Bad Loser's um, build style. I think he's really got an interesting way of doing things um, and I might commission him and some other guys to build some things around my base sometime um, let's get a, a good view of his place he I definitely like the way he builds his roads I think those look really cool um, so yeah this is it there's his melon farm he's got a chest floating in the air um, I gotta be careful because of my food shortage don't want to die um, also there's, well, I, there's, uh, zombies around, but I believe they're, um, well, I don't know, he usually has them attacking some sort of villager held up thing where they're, they're going after the villager, but they'll never get to him. Looks like there's another type of farm here. Or maybe this, oh, ooh, mushrooms, mushrooms, anything? All right, anyway, this, I believe this, yeah, this is his uh, pumpkin pie farm, factory farm, whatever you want to call it. Um, anyway, let's go around here real quick. He's got a wither skeleton score right here. Uh, BBL said he recently lost his beacon. Um, I'm interested to know what happened there. Did he lose it, like misplace it, or did it blow up, or what happened, I wonder? 
Got some cows in there. If I die, oh my god. Alright, so um, I think that his skeleton farm might be over here. This is why we're going this way. Get another view of that. Looks pretty nice. Uh, I'm going to eat some of these now. Because I'm desperate enough. So I'm pretty sure this is it. Oh, seriously? Well, that was the tunnel, <laughs> the the portal we came through. That we, how did I miss this? Did I look down here? I don't even remember if I saw it in the. I'll have to check back the recording. Not that it matters, but here's the way down to the skeleton farm. That must be the uh, skeleton um, spawner right there. Come on, go that way. So here's the skeleton farm. I don't want to be hit. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I don't. Oh, there's glistering melon. I can't. I don't think you can even eat that. Yeah, look at how much he's gathered from this. this is really incredible. He's got some melons here. BBL, I'm taking half of your melons. Thank you. You can you can bill me. I will pay in non-diamond. All right, let's see. Is this where I came from? I don't think this is where I came from. What is this? Anyway, that's not important. This is, I think, the original tunnel down. Not sure. Not important. Let's find our way out of here. Let's let's double look here. I think. Yep. Yep. I knew it. All right, you guys. So I'm gonna head out of here. We're gonna go through that portal up here to get out. Um, this one's been a little bit messier. I apologize for that. I hope I hope it helps you guys nonetheless. Where's that portal? It's right, right here. All right, so we're gonna head back to the nether. And now we are gonna head to example space. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, he, uh, he goes up to the top of the nether over here. Boom, is there, is there any? No, I don't think there are any. All right, well, we're gonna run this so you guys get to watch as I speed it up. All right, so now to remind you guys, um, going this way, you're going to head back towards Almantis' tunnel. Going this way, you're going to head towards Examples Base. Um, now, this is another situation where you can use the rail, except this time when the rail is on your left, you're heading to Almantis' tunnel. And when your rail is on the right, you're, you're heading towards Examples' tunnel. Um, all right, guys, well, I'll check back with you guys when we get there. So, um, I just ran downstairs to grab a water because it is really hot in California today. Um, but a little trick, something I've been using a lot in this video. On a Mac especially, I know for a fact you can do it on a Mac because that's what I'm using. If you hold W to go forward and then you use the command key on a Mac. So I guess I can't really think of a way to do that on a PC. And then you let go of W and then you let go of the command key. You're going to continue going forward. Um, same works for A, S, and D as well, depending on what direction you want to go. But uh, I can leave this running like I just did just now to run down and get some uh, water. Um, since I know I'm, you know, I got a long way to go and uh, I'm going to turn this into a time lapse anyway. So, but now that we're so close, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, sprint through the, uh, the ice trail right here. And now we are at example space. Now, before I go to his actual base, I just want to kind of um, show you guys stuff around uh, his nether place, because this is something you guys are probably going to want to look at, uh, or reasons you guys are probably going to want to come down to this area. Um, so he's got an enchanting table over here with no way in, apparently, which is, I guess is okay, because you can access it from there. That's cool. Um, he was branch mining for quartz for a while. Still no brown mushrooms in sight. I don't know why I'm still looking for him again. <laughs> but uh, anyway, you head down here. And unfortunately, when 1.7 comes out, this is probably going to be broken. But who knows? Uh, we will see. I mean, Dinnerbone is a smart guy. He might find a way to fix this. I don't know why. Everybody does that. You always open up a chest when you see it. 
Uh, anyway, this is one place where there's a little a couple blocks in here that are spawnable. Uh, that's why he calls it the shark cage, because you can spawn some enemies in there, and he, you can just keep them in that little cage. Kind of a little joke. But, the, and by the way, it doesn't necessarily look like it, but this is half slabbed off, so it looks kind of like a normal one, but this is all slabs, so uh, nothing can spawn here. Now down here, and we are going to borrow some food from example as well. I'm just going to take some of those. And it's a good thing we did, because apparently this thing is really clogged. So I'm going to go ahead and stick uh, some of this stuff oops, some of this stuff in there for example and I will take the one with 28 and we'll just let that continue to sort for itself here's examples a uh, tiny um, cactus farm which apparently is not sending stuff to that chest or is empty not sure why um, and then over here, this is incomplete at the moment, but this is going to be his um, wither skeleton and blaze rod and all that stuff farm. Um, now I'm not going to show you guys too much of it because I'm going to let him do that. Um, it's still unfinished, so I just want to respect him in that regard. Um, and uh, we're just going to keep moving up. Um, by the way, um, I kind of skipped a little bit. Uh, the way that I know Big Bad Loser is that he was once on the Batcave server. And why did I go up here? Um, I have never played on the Batcave server, but that's actually where basically, um, gosh, I've really missed a lot of these, haven't I? Um, I, I talked about how uh, Taco was the first person to ask me to join Third Echelon uh, over the internet. You know, I've never met Taco in real life. Um, he lives in Spain and he's significantly younger than I am. But uh, Macho was the second person to ask me um, and at the moment when he asked me, I wasn't ready to add people. Um, but I subscribed to Macho just like I subscribed to just about everybody who asks me because I want to know if they're going to be a good fit. Uh, and some people, you can tell right away that they don't really care about third echelon. They just want to play. Um, and those people, uh, I unsubscribe to right away if, it, if it's very clear that they're not really interested in actually being a, a member of this particular server oh oh my gosh where am i going where am i going i completely skipped his base um and uh but um macho dagger really seemed like he he would make a great um, addition to the server so uh, we added him he waited months just like taco did um all right so real quick i had a break from what i'm talking about to explain something you come through this portal and just so you know, right outside of this portal is this chest here. Ah, ah. Um, and it's got a bunch of hoppers facing into it. You take these hoppers, if you stand on top of them and walk this way, you'll eventually make it to the witch farm. But first we're going to look at some other stuff. We'll come back to this. Um, anyway, so um, Example and Big Bad Loser both came from the Batcave server as well. Which, um, um, sorry, the bottom line is that uh, Macho, when I, I didn't let him on right away, and he joined um, the Batcave server. And then uh, the Batcave server at one time went down, and um, Macho ended up, um, I, I asked him right away, I, to, I told him, like, he looked like you need another series when the Batcave server went down. It looked like you need another s server to record a series on. So I let him on right away, uh, and then shortly after that, um, Big Bad Loser and Example contacted me. And after uh, a little bit of a shorter waiting period, because I had people vouching for them, um, and uh, their content really spoke up for itself, um, they ended up joining as well. Uh, and Big Bad Losers from America, and um, Example is from New Zealand. So uh, I want to go ahead and show you guys, if you, basically all of my subscribers, I'm telling you right now, you should be subscribed to Example. Uh, let's go ahead and watch I don't know if he's got any loaded up in here. I don't know if this is going to do anything, but let's see. All right. Well, uh, I'm not going to actually sit around here and wait for it. If it is loaded, I don't think it is, but um, this thing shoots cows out on fire and catches them in that ring. Oh, there we go. Yeah. All right. So you should definitely subscribe to example. That's, that's the bottom line here. Um, and uh, we fought the Withers. When we fought the six Withers, we fought them over there. Um, just giving you guys a little bit of feedback on here. And um, 
I fell off this bridge recently and accidentally stole some quartz that I gave back, <laughs> to example. As you guys heard in, I believe, the last episode is when I talked about that. Um, Alright, so let's continue over here. Here's Example's signature tent, uh, which I added vines to because I thought it, I thought it made it look a little bit more um, like the kind of tent you might see in this sort of design. You know, made out of leaves and whatnot, like for a military thing. Um, all right, so I came up this ladder now uh, to show you guys a little bit more because this is something at first I didn't really understand. I got I got lost here a lot when I first tried to come in here. Uh, there's basically nothing on this floor at the moment, but uh, what there is over here is you can come down here and down here. No, 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 I keep going. This is kind of like one of his main areas right here. He's got a bunch of horses. He had a ton of horses around his base um, when he started playing. Um, so he's got a bunch of horses in here. He's been breeding them and stuff. Um, and Kashi took a blaze rod, apparently. Um, he's got a cool little button here that opens the door and closes it after a couple seconds. So yeah, just enough time to get through. And then it closes on you, um, which is cool. And anyway, um, so that's basically what I want to show you guys at his actual base. Um, the place that you're probably, if you're coming to his base and you're not here to prank him or something, what you're probably going to do, and I'm going to go ahead and take this, um, by the way, this just goes down one more level, but I'm going to take this up to the um, place where we're going to go to the witch farm to show you where that is. Also, he has a boat launcher down here, but we're going to, or like he's got a little boat trail, but we're going to, we're going to walk it because I think it'll be easier for me um, to edit this and not fall off and whatnot. Why? Well, Actually, I, there's no way to fall off if you're in a boat down there, but I'm terrible with boats because they always break. So anyway, let's just uh, let's just zip through this. All right, here you can see that there's a little bit of a bend at the end. Oh, dang it. Wow, that was close. That was really close. <laughs> Whew. <laughs> I almost bit the dust. <laughs> Um, anyway, so here we are though, and this is actually good that I fell because I can show you, um, whoa, fell. I can show you a bit more stuff that I wouldn't necessarily have been able to show you from up there. Um, so, and I, I do example, I do intend to come back here and help you work more on this in the future. Uh, but at the moment I, um, I've just been busy. As you know, I got a, I got another job to work on. Um, but this is the witch farm that he and I have been working on a bit. It has provided me many, many resources. And if you ever find yourself in the water down here, remember you can always follow this visually to get here. Um, and then the way you'd get in here, um, you can also follow the beacon if you if you can't see the hoppers for whatever reason. Um, you just go right up in here, jump up, and then when you're coming down, you can just fall right into the water. Uh, there's another chicken cooker over here, but uh, this one relies on a clock, which, there you go, is on, <laughs> apparently. Alright, so this is the witch farm. Um, any materials here are for example, or myself. These are things that were found um, while we were um, mining out this area. And some of the stuff in here, like probably this water bucket and a couple of these things, um, no, no, I, I'm, I give anything that I obtained in his base area to example. Um, but, um, you know, some of the stuff in here I might have left that was mine. So, um, but I, it looks like I took most of it. That water bucket might be mine, but, you know, whatever. It's, it's just three iron. So we've got, I'm going to take those. Uh, some glowstone. I recently took some glowstone to work on the mushroom island. That's why there's not a lot here. A lot of redstone here. A lot of gunpowder here um, and basically the witches just fall uh, they land right here they die and this collects their loot and sorts it over there uh, and then over here is a I think this is a cave spider spawner or a regular spider spawner or something like that cave spider um, so these are just little bubbles we put in because this looks kind of cool from up from up there um, and then down here you can also kind of see mm, now that's really hard to see let's do it this way but ah, you can kind of see the flooring. Oh my gosh, come on. There we go. You can kind of see the flooring and stuff we designed. Ooh, there you can really see it. Oh, kind of, kind of. There you go. 
No, it's easier to see this way. Oh, and uh, we didn't finish it over there, so there's some there's squids that are falling down because we actually dug out rather than rather than um, um, light up everything. We decided to just literally dig down to bedrock for for the uh, spawn rates. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm gonna head back to the Nether, um, and I'm sure eventually Example's gonna put a, a another portal over here to make this trip to the witch farm uh, something he can label and make it easier. Um, but uh, right now, I think it's better that you sort of have to make an extra trip there because um, it means that the chunks stay loaded a bit longer, um, and so he doesn't have to be the one always AFK over here. Anyway, let's uh, let's head back to the nether. Here's a nice view of his base as it loads in. Got a lot of cool things. He's really a, a very talented builder. Very aesthetically pleasing build style, that is. <laughs> um, and then, you know what? Since we're here, let's go ahead and look down here. Here is his um, boat dock. Like, this is the end of the boat launcher. And I will admit, uh, his um, his uh, base is a bit of a labyrinth for me still. I, man, I've, I've broken boats every time I tried to use them at his base. There we go. I'm just going to try to show you how this would look if you were in a boat. I'm supposed to go through here. I wonder if he ended up curving this. It doesn't look like he's done that yet. Uh, but I talked to him about... Uh, curving, excuse me, about curving this uh, so that it's a little bit easier to get through. Yeah, because that always happens. Anyway, <laughs> um, so this goes to his boat launcher, which you can see in some of his videos. It shoots it through this little post up here. And it launches in, set up over here. And I do not know how to get back up here safely or easily, but we're just going to go ahead All right, here's the doorway that we talked about before. I'm going to press this button. You can see it opens for us. And it has a very generous amount of time that it stays open um, in case you're, you're dilly-dallying or something. So we can go ahead and come back up this way. And I'm just going to use the ladder because I think it might be a little bit faster, but I couldn't tell you for sure. And uh, now it definitely seems faster. <laughs> anyway, so now we're going to head back to the nether. And luckily for us now... Um, I can show you, because I accidentally sent that minecart over here, I can show you just how much faster this is than the minecart. And since we got food, I can actually I can actually use this. And it's actually um, a very fast route if you have enough food. Look at that. I caught up to the minecart already. So I could hop in the minecart. Um, and it's actually so much faster that I'm going to continue this way. Since I now have food, I don't have to worry as much. I'm just going to go ahead and beat the minecart. And we're probably going to move so fast that we are going to unload that chunk and it won't actually end up making it to the end. Actually, you know what? Come to think of it, it's probably going to head to BBL's base anyway uh, due to the way it's, the system is set up over here. Let's take a look. Yes. So what I am going to do is not wait for it because that's going to take too long. But now BBL has a... <laughs> has something heading towards his base. So from here we're going to head, I believe, our next stop would be Alamantis. But because Jake Woodruff's base is fairly close to here, um, I'm going to go ahead and, and go that route instead. Um, and it's actually kind of important that I show off where that is because poor Jake died and doesn't know how to get, get back to his base. and. Um, we got Jake set up, uh, Jake's one of my best friends, by the way, um, we met at school, at, uh, college, and, um, Jake's a singer-songwriter, he wrote a song for, what episode was it, uh, 63, I have no idea, um, the one that I did on the, for, for the 4th of July, um, uh, I think the episode is titled, My Not-So-Independent Independence Day, because I spent it with my wife. Um, and she's actually recorded in the video with me. 
But Jake wrote a song for us, uh, actually about about my wife and I that we used in that video. Oh my god, a brown mushroom! Oh my god! <laughs> Let's go ahead. Let's do it. Yay! All right. Feels so accomplished. But anyway, um, Jake, we got him a mouse, uh, a wireless mouse, because he plays on his MacBook Pro like I do. Um, by the way, just so that we're clear. To Alamantis, to Jake. We're going towards Jake right now. Um, but he played with um, a wireless mouse like I'm using, but he lost his wireless mouse, and he's actually been playing... Uh, four, what is this here? Why is this here? Who did this? Did I? Oh, I did this. This was the original way to get to Alamantis' base back in the day. That's funny. I forgot that that was there. Anyway. Um, let's go ahead and do this to make it a little bit less confusing for Jake. Uh, but Jake lost his mouse, and he's been playing on a MacBook with his with the trackpad. And that is no fun. <laughs> Uh, but Jake Jake was killed and his I guess his bed was obstructed or something and he respawned at the spawn village um, and he started a new base somewhere else because he couldn't find his way back so Jake if you're watching um, now you know how to get back to your original base if you ever make it back to the spawn village so um, if you haven't done much you could always just break your bed and place it in a chest somewhere and then kill yourself uh, or let, allow yourself to die um, and then you'll respawn at the spawn village, which is where spawn has been moved back. It's no longer at the iron farm. Uh, and then you can use this video to find your way home. Although, I will admit, there's not a lot at your home. <laughs> uh, actually, I don't know. I have not I have not been here in many, many months. Um, oh, there's more over here. <laughs> the way that uh, people play on the server, you're either on all the time or almost never. That's what it seems like. Um, and this is the back of Jake's place. I put something up there for him. I started a little wheat farm that apparently he didn't decide to replant. And this is it. This is 100% of his base. All right. Well, now that we're done with that, let's head back to Alamantis's base. <laughs> if you hadn't guessed, uh, Jake lives in America. Ooh, is there another way to get to his base from somewhere else? Um, I'm going to check this out. I don't recall what's over here. Um, I think, yeah, I believe, uh, and I'm not going to go ahead and show you because this is not a place a lot of people need to get to, but this also heads straight down to T. Calhoun's base. That's uh, another way to get here. Uh, I totally forgot about that. Anyway, let's go back to Alamantis' base. All right, so here we are. Now we're back here. And during that little bit of the recording, uh, Macho Dagger hopped on. Happy to see him back on. It's been a while. I think he's been um, away from his computer for a couple weeks. Uh, so now we are heading towards Alamantis' base. So, like I said, you come down here from the Nether Hub. If you go that way, straight to the Nether Hub, if you remember. Uh, now you can come down this way. Man, I could have sworn brown mushrooms are supposed to be more common than red mushrooms. Anyway. Here we are, heading down. Now we are at Alamantis' base. He has been doing something down here. He's torn up this a bit, uh, and the um, minecarts have been getting lost down here. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and hop into Alamantis' portal. Show off his cool base. Oh, no. Ha. Huh. QB's been here. Yeah, man. I, I tell you, I am always paranoid somebody's going to visit my base and I'm going to have a massive creeper explosion. Um, all right, so here's Alamantis' base. you got up there the Torch of Eternal Torchiness. Um, and then he still hasn't taken down the Easter egg, which uh, I can kind of understand since... Um, um, since he kind of has to wait until he's ready... Dang it! <laughs> Until he's ready to uh, take out the um, the two zombie villagers that are in there. Um, so yeah, I'm not even gonna go up there and show you. But um, 
And then here's from episode 25 of my series, and I think it's 21 for his. Um, this is the prank I pulled on him, the, the rather large prank. Uh, and then, actually, I've been meaning to, to make a video down here for quite a while. I wanted to talk about something in particular. Um, he's got this cool system over here uh, where he's got this little farm, and he's got this system where he throws items, uh, like stuff that he collects in here. You jerk. Anyway, he throws items in there, and I'm going to sleep if there's a bed in here. Yes, I can. In bed. In bed. All right, um, he throws items in that little spot, and then they go, I, I don't know if they get sorted or what, but they, uh, they go around, and they come up here, and then they go in here, and personally, I think this is really cool, because he's got a little silo over here. Are there more than one? Is that... So I don't think there's a sorting system, but what I wanted to mention is that I think uh, Alamantis, I, I don't know, maybe you put this here on purpose. I don't think this is necessary. You could easily put an item elevator and send the items up and then into a hopper system that would put them into these chests without without requiring this doohickey. Um, so if you wanted to have a silo just look more like a silo, uh, I could easily help you uh, get that all situated. So. If you're interested, let me know. We could really get that going. That would be really cool. Um, and I am going to be a nice guy, Cypherus, and replant as soon as I get four seeds. Good. There you go. Now those are replanted. Uh, anyway, so now let's go ahead and look at the rest of his, uh, his base. Um, so this is the, uh, and I love that he does this with everything. He calls this the Alaman Town. Because uh, his name is Alamantis. Ooh, there's a spider in there somewhere. Anyway, um, and uh, you guys might remember, um, I think it was episode 38, and I've been pulling episode numbers out of my butt. I know that's from 25, but um, I think it was episode 38 where I did the uh, the active home donation, where I built this house for him. Um, and that was a lot of fun. I hope he's uh, enjoyed it. I hope I didn't, you know, totally wreck what he was going to do. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, and he's been working hard building this little town here. Um, and then I'm not going to go there, but oh, over in that direction, you can kind of see that little uh, symbol that that's actually the same symbol that's on that right there. Um, there is a sp surface spawner over there. I, th I can't remember if it's zombie or skeleton. Anyway, um, so now we've shown off the exterior of Alamantis's base. Let's go ahead and look at the interior. Get that. And, oh, goody music. And, uh, let's see. So, I don't know what this is doing here. I wonder. Oh, BBL left him a bunch of pies. Pumpkin pies. Very cool. Um, and it looks like he sissy barred that up for some reason. Oh, those are where, oh, his horses are down there. Um, I think he named one of his horses Esmeralda. Um, I highly suggest you guys subscribe to Alamantis. He has been quite busy lately. I don't think his computer's been running too good. The lag lounge, this is where his computer... His his computer is probably the worst of any of us. Um, and uh, it lagged really bad when he comes over here. So he calls this the lag lounge. Um, he tries not to come here on camera. Yeah, he hasn't recorded in a while. Um, he's been really frustrated with his recordings because they've been going really well in the recording and then the video is all screwed up so um, but I just want to kind of show you guys what's going on he's he's been this is the cake I gave him on my birthday um, this is when he got pranked first um, which was for me this is from a prank that T Calhoun did on him and this is a Christmas card for me um, very very cool what he's doing he's got his own custom texture pack as well so if you watch this in his video you'll see things look a little bit different I wonder what that does it just looks cool cool awesome Anyway, I'm not sure what's up here. Maybe a second layer going to be up there. Um, anyway, so I'm just going to kind of speed through this. You can see the beacon uh, is going through here. We have jump boost and regen here. Um, and he's got some uh, brewing stuff. And then he's got a little system here, which will open up. Um, I don't know the combination, but it'll open up this door that I could easily just mine through with the pickaxe. Uh, anyway. 
So that's Alamantis's base. And let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, I was telling him, I posted this on so long ago. Oh no, somebody else changed it to say nice shrub. <laughs> um, I, I joked around with him. I was saying how cool it would be if you could put these up against a windowsill. Um, but you can't, obviously, because they don't take up the same spot as the window. Anyway, so that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and get out of here. And I guess now we're going to have to head back to the hub. Because uh, there's nowhere else to go. But we are going to take the rail line. And of course, of course, I'm going to go ahead and speed it up. Um, and I am going to leave... Well, I guess I sent one ahead already, so I guess I can't leave one here. But I'm going to go ahead and go through on the rail. Show you guys how it would look if you were to come down here uh, using this method. Wow. Um, so I actually just ran out of hard drive space again. Um, apparently, ScreenFlow records locally, and then once you save it, it... Um, it moves the file to the folder. So another 130-ish gigs of, uh, of recording just got transferred over to the um, to my portable drive. Anyway, so we've looked in this direction, we've looked in this direction, and we've looked in this direction, including QB. So now we're gonna head north, which is where my base is located. Uh, so let's go ahead and take this path. I'm gonna go ahead and eat some more. Um, by the way, Macho uh, hopped off after I jumped off because I, I ran out of space on my computer. So this is a formal apology, Macho, for not um, saying goodbye. <laughs> uh, and now I'm going to go ahead and hop in this minecart. And the first place that we're going to stop at is NAC303's base. And QB jumped over here a little bit um, in, I think, his first video. But... Um, and he discovered that there's actually a portal desynced issue. So I'm just going to go ahead and hop in here and show you NAC303's base. He has not been on much. Um, by the way, the way that I know Alamantis, um, I cannot believe I've been so bad at this. I went to, I went to high school with Alamantis. Um, and, uh, you know, he's been on the server since the beginning. Um, and uh, I'm trying to see if I can show you guys something. Um, let's see. So there's that is how... Nick knows how to get back to the portal. There's Nick's house, and I'm not sure exactly where it is. I think it's in this direction. Um, there's a ton of torches on the ground. Um, and what that is over, over where those torches are, if we can actually see them. I think those are flowers. Oh, let's see if we can see it from over here where his house is. Oh, I forgot to show you guys something at the hub where, the, where you can get these blocks. Um, I have a little button you can press that you're supposed to swap stone, brick, or whatever for those blocks. Because I, I think eventually there'll be something you can get in-game. So that's that's what my... There's the torches. That was my, my bet on it. And that's why you can get them at the hub. Um, as well as a type of sandstone block you can't get in the game yet. And, and the original stone slabs. Um, Alright. So you guys can see I lit up that area over there. And I don't have anything built over there yet. But I do have a screenshot of something I built in creative mode that I'm going to put on the screen right now. All right, so that is actually where the um, end portal is. And as you can see from the picture, I want to build Baradur from uh, Lord of the Rings. But instead of putting Sauron's eye at the top, I want to put an Ender eye. Um, so that's what is going to go over there. Um, and the reason I haven't started building it yet is because, A, that's a huge project. And I don't think it's going to be really fun to watch on camera. Who knows? But um, B, uh, they were adding stained clay and stuff at the time. And I thought if I waited, I'd be able to make something that looked more like the Ender Eye. Um, but uh, it ended up being that they didn't help much. Uh, uh, as well as there aren't a lot of dark colored blocks. So we might build it out of something else. Where's that glass pillar? Now I need it. <laughs> um, NAC 303's base is pretty much... Is that it? Yeah, that's it. It's pretty much... Uh, a step past Jake's base, so there's not much to see. Um, I'm not going to go in and give it a lot of detail because he's played maybe an hour on the server so far. Uh, anyway, now I'm going to show you how to get to the end. All right, now the portals are desynced, so we actually went into that portal, but we came out over here, and that was just kind of important that I show you that. 
Um, QB had that problem in his first episode. So now I'm going to go through this portal again, and it's going to take me to... Um, this is... Well, actually, I moved... As you can see, I moved the portal... Oh, God, that's so distracting. I moved the portal up here um, because uh, Creeper blew up and made it really hard to get up, to get into the portal, and nobody was en ended up using... Whoop, I walked through it. Nobody ended up using the... Um, uh, what do you call them? The the silverfish farm. So uh, anyway, so you come around here, and this is our end island. This is actually the end from the original third echelon server, which is the same world seed. It looks just the same, except that for whatever reason, our um, our portal generated um, away from the end island. So um, the portal to return, just like with the server. That we're currently at ended up doing. Uh oh. Um, I ended up uh, defeating the Ender Dragon and, and having the um, uh, what do you call this? The the portal up here. Uh, and then over here, you can see we just got little branches because this used to be a lot more on the on the old server. But I decided um, to keep with the style but do something different. And oh shoot, there's a chest over here that I can't access for some reason. I wonder why that is. Oh, you know what? I put this chest here, come to think of it. Uh, a couple weeks ago, um, I had planned... What? There we go. Yeah, I planned to uh, to make a path over to the uh, to the end island and start building an enderman farm. Um, but, uh, yeah, I totally forgot about that. I better get back on that sometime. Uh, anyway, so um, that's basically it uh, for this. I'm going to go ahead and head back. And, of course, this is going to take me... Dang it! Alamantis' base. All right. <laughs> I should have thought of that. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, I guess I'm going to have to zip back there. So I'll see you guys there uh, in just a bit. All right, you guys. So there's the nether hub. I'm coming back this way um, towards my base. Here's the, the portal we went to to get to NAC 303. When we came back through the same portal, we ended up down there. And then we went through there again, and we went to the end. Um, now, continuing this direction, let's take a uh, minecart, since it's faster than running in this case. Um, continuing this direction, we're going to have a lot of different options of where we're going. Uh, first on our right is going to be a way towards Pecos, um, which I will briefly head down that way um, to kind of show you that it's, that it's going to be a viable option in the future. Um, and then we will look at some other ways to get to Pecos' base. Alright, so this is going to, in the future, be a way towards Pecos' base. So I'm going to go ahead and zip down here real quick. Alright, so here we are. And you can see... Let's see it. We can see it from here. Pecos' portal is just on the other side of this wall. Let's see if we can get down there. Yeah, I guess we could. So there's Pecos' portal. Um, and then earlier in this video, remember we ran by that dirt, and I showed you that the area with the slabs that was right there? Um, so that's the other port path right there that will also take you to Taco. Um, and then there's this path right here. But we will get to that in a second. So let's go ahead and head back this way. All right, so here we are. We're back at where we just came from. Just to, again, re-register you guys. Um, that's actually the minecart we just hopped out of going this way. So if you were to continue this direction, you're heading back towards the hub. But we are going this way, and again, I said that this is towards Pecos' base. This is towards the iron farm, which we will get to in a second. And now, as you can see, I've got, oops, I've got uh, beacon effects. Um, I've worked really, really hard on this server to get a lot of beacons, um, and I kind of touched base on this a little bit in my last episode. Uh, neither one of these portals go to where they're supposed to right now. Um, don't don't take those. This is towards Pecos, and you guys remember seeing uh, that one path that had the um, half slabs? That is this path, uh, though it's way down there. Um, now we are going that so. To clarify, this will take you towards Pecos, and then if, it'll take you to the right, and you'll be going towards Taco. 
Um, now, this is the other way to get to Pecos's base right here that's labeled Pecos. And we're going to go ahead and head down there. Okay, and just above us and over there, oops, whoops, you would see um, that other path I was just referring to. But we're going to go this way, and you will see something that probably will look familiar because we've seen it a lot in this video. We just haven't talked about it. And that would be this thing up here. And I, you know, his Pecos's base originally was over in that direction, but he, he transported from where we plotted him and found this amazing island. Um, I believe he calls it Haven Island. And we're going to go take a look at it. And this is actually, oh no, one of the best. One of the best build uh, on the server is this this whole place. I'm very excited to show you the guys this thing. Um, let's see. So, how I know Pecos? I actually met Pecos through NAC303. It looks like he's moved his portal again. I wonder if that'll take us back to the same one. Um, kind of wish it wasn't raining, but uh, some really cool things he's built. Um, he just borrowed a bunch of lapis from everybody on the server to make this thing. Uh, but what is really impressive are the things that are closer to being finished, uh, which I'm assuming are this way because of the beacon. Yeah. Pecos is quite the incredible builder. Um, so anyway, yeah, like I was saying, I, I met Pecos through NAC303. Um, by the way, NAC303 and I, we, we run a studio together, a, a visual effects studio, and um, Pecos does work for us pretty um, regularly. Uh, in fact, my channel art um, at this time is by uh, Pecos, so definitely check that out. He's quite an incredible artist, quite an incredible builder. I mean, look at this roof. That's amazing. Amazing concept that he's really put together here. Um, and he's got a double bed here, and I'm going to try to sleep away the rain. And at least it's daytime, uh, which is good because I don't want any creepers to blow up around his base. Um, and take a look at this place. I wish I could fly here because uh, there's quite a bit to see. It's quite an amazing build. Um, and right out here, and what's the coolest thing about this is that he's been he's been building into this location. Like it's just a really well put together build. Um, man, I really I really wish I could show you this from uh, from some up in the air sort of angles because this is quite impressive. Uh, just, just quite an incredible dock. You, I, I really, there's not really more you can say than that. This is just such an incredible place to be, um, especially if you'd seen what he's come up with over the course of his entire time playing on the server. Uh, Pecos is actually a pretty regular member on the server, but he only usually comes on at, uh, at a certain time of night for me, at least. I don't know what time it is for the rest of the people on here, because quite a bit of people on here have different time zones. Um, by the way, somebody that we're not going to be visiting his base is, um, cool, Prometheus Lighthouse, is uh, Eric, And that's because Eric has joined the server, uh, but hasn't been on that much because he's been busy. Um, and when he started to play at first on the server, we had some lag issue that we have since fixed. I'm glad I didn't die from that, although I would have respawned <laughs> right at that place. But um, I'm actually going to head out of here because... Um, this video is getting pretty long, and I don't want to. I don't want to have to edit too much out. If I, well, I mean, obviously, I'm going to be editing out the uh, <laughs> all the paths and stuff I've taken. But um, we've got a couple more places to get to, and I just want to kind of revisit them. Um, let's go ahead and go up here, though. This is a, quite an incredible uh, area around his base. I mean, just really blows me away. He's really utilized blocks that I never would put together quite amazingly. In fact. This is a block you can't even really get in the game. Uh, he got that from the Nether Hub. I talked about that special sandstone block, and he's integrated it so cleanly into his design. I just love it. I love what he's done. Got a pretty large cow farm up here. And oh, don't. Let's see if I can get. Oh, do I jump boost? No, speed two. Bummer. QB does not. Uh, QB does not like jump boost and I think he's crazy because jump boost is my favorite beacon effect I love being able to jump two blocks it's oh dang it ah, I knew that was gonna happen um, all right let's just go down anyway 
so Pecos is quite an incredible builder, quite an incredible artist. Uh, he does a lot of storyboard work for Nick and I, uh, Nick being NAC 303, um, and all around just a really great, great person. So love to have him on the server. Um, and always love to see what he does with the blocks that he steaks. Steals, I was going to say sneaks, but uh, steals from my um, from my base, which uh, totally welcome to take whatever I've got, man. All right, let's get out of here. I think, oh, whoa, he's moved a lot of stuff, actually. His, uh, his house used to be up here. He's moved it. That's why the portal's not here anymore. Makes sense. Look at this view. It's so incredible. Oh, man. Um, I highly suggest you guys check, take a look at his base. Uh, on the third echelon website, um, looking at the map view, definitely worth seeing. See the portal, I can hear it. Yep, there it is. Let's head back. You guys can probably hear I'm getting pretty tired. <laughs> it's been a long recording process. All right, so let's head back to my base and show that off. And then we've got a couple more places to look at. All right, here we are. We're back at my base. We just came from there. And uh, uh, let's go ahead and take a quick look up here, kind of show off the stuff we've got up here. I talked about this briefly in my last episode. It's a little cactus farm. Um, now, I have something over here, but this is not really intended for other players to use. This is for me. This is maintenance. Please don't come back here and mess this stuff up. Um, it's not for you guys. It's just for me to, to sort of organize and filter and stuff. Now... I accidentally just threw my sword, and that kind of illustrates a point I was about to bring up. If you if you lose items here, you 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 lose them. Don't lose. Don't leave your items. Don't don't die. Oh jeez. Well, I'm not gonna get that back until later. <laughs> yeah, uh, my sword just went through the system, so uh, I'm gonna be swordless for a couple seconds while I grab one of my spares. <laughs> All right, that's cool. Now, um, this actually, if you wait here or anywhere around here, um, mobs will spawn at a nether fortress that's kind of in that direction. And the wither skeletons and things will be brought to this point and dropped right here uh, where you can kill them and get wither skeleton skulls. Um, those wither skeleton skulls will be mine, uh, unless otherwise stated, but because, uh, uh, you know, they're going to get filtered into the system. Um, and I've got quite a bit from here. I really, really enjoy that. Um, now, real quick, I'm going to go ahead and um, and go through this portal. Keep in mind, uh, if you're heading to my base, you're going to come from over there. You're going to end up over here, and you're going to go into here. That's how you get to my base. This is my library. There's nothing really here for anybody to, to do. There's This is where I keep my enchanted books, so... Really, I'm the only one who should be visiting these locations. Um, by the way, I believe BBL did this. I didn't address it in my last episode. It's been here for a while. It just seems like something he'd do. I don't know. Hey, get away. Anyway, this is where my villagers are. I, I'd appreciate it if you guys did not trade with them because that trades you guys do with them means that I don't get those trades. Ooh. What was that about? What was that noise about? Anyway. Um, so this is just a little area I put together, um, and then I've got my fireworks show over there. Let's go ahead and hit that switch, actually, see if we can watch some fireworks real quick. Uh, this button over here will access the fireworks show. Alright, you guys can watch that in that same episode I talked about earlier with uh, Jake's song, the one that's called My Not-So-Independent Independence Day is the one I named that episode. Um, I've got a stable over here that has horses in it. Man, who has been bone mealing my place? Oh my goodness. Um, looks like... I think I bred these horses and that one just grew up in there. That would explain why he doesn't have a saddle. Um, here's Donkers Jr. Um, and I've just got some horses in here that haven't been named. Um, except for Donkers, who is a gift from example. Um, and a bunch of horses out here are just grazing because I read on the wiki that uh, horses have a random chance of generating a completely random colored horse. Um, and I was hoping that over time I would breed them enough that I would get one of the horses 
that I don't already have uh, color wise. Um, anyway, you guys can see that portal up there. We'll, we'll, we'll come out there in just a second. Um, this is my mob farm that's not hooked up to anything at the moment. Um, don't know when it will be. And I don't think you can see it from here, but yeah, just just past there is a witch hut that's not being utilized. Um, and when 1.7 comes out, it probably wouldn't make any point for me to even utilize it now anyways. So I probably won't. This is the backside of my animal farms. Um, which I'll go look at right now. Let's go ahead and jump down. Eat some food. And while I'm here, I should grab some more food because I'm already almost out again. Alright, so I guess I should show you first of all. Um, coming coming from over where where the uh, where you'd come through that portal, you go up those stairs. Uh, these stairs right here. By the way, we have, we have jump boost if you haven't figured it out. You go up these stairs, you come around here. This is where my main base is. This There's really nothing on this side. Uh, there's there's a small thing right here where I can collect... Oh, there's two. Somehow there's two iron golems in there. I mean, uh, snow golems. Um, so I use this to get snow at times when I need it. Um, right over here is my storage room. Um, here's what I've been storing. And I like to mine stuff with silk touch because... I can trade for diamond tools and stuff. Um, I can trade for emeralds, uh, but I can't get these anymore. So I like to keep them in their um, in their ore state now. That's something I'm kind of been doing. Um, got some resources and got a ton of dragon eggs. Um, that was you can actually watch back my first episode to learn about that. Um, and let's see. Uh, yeah, I just you know basically got some stuff in here. I have a system down here. Underneath here is my cobble generator, and it actually sends the cobble up into this chest, which is really neat. And then I got my, I got this stuff, I got that stuff, and that's basically it for now. Um, now, if I go down here, and I'm going to come to this house or this little shack last. No, I'm not. It's already turning into nighttime. I'm going to go here right now. There's actually a bed in almost all all of these little um, doorways, but. Uh, we're going to come back to this one because that's where we're going to do a lot of, um, that's where most of the stuff is. Now, coming down here, this is the cobble generator. And you can see hoppers down here. They go through here and up into that chest. Uh, if we come this way, this is the chicken farm. And it's way too efficient. I got so many eggs from it. Uh, in a recent episode, somebody was asking me about how to collect eggs. Well, that's as easy as it is. Just have chickens up here, dropping eggs into this hopper, getting sorted into this chest. Um, and then the the feathers get sorted and sent to the um, to the book and quill station uh, over in the library. In here, I've got a little brewing station that I don't use that much anymore because uh, I haven't I've almost exclusively used potions in order to make um, zombie villagers turn into regular villagers because I just don't see the point in potions. Um, now here I had a cocoa bean and sugarcane farm. Um, this is oh my gosh, come on. Uh, now over here is a um, melon and pumpkin farm. So just gonna collect these. Uh, you guys might remember earlier I mentioned that I've got a silk touch bow from 12W49A. Um, and here's my first enchantment table. And then over here was my original project board. Um, and that is about it for now for this area. Uh, and then in my last episode, I showed off uh, the trip to Jungle Court, uh, or at least the place where Jungle Court's going to be built, which is right over here. Uh, and then down here is uh, where my zombie spawner is. And something that's kind of cool is that um, this seed actually doesn't generate the zombie spawner anymore. So I, I lucked out in that I started. I decided to build my base here. At, at the time when that did generate because um, it doesn't generate anymore um, so that's pretty cool um, and I'm going to turn that into something else when I when I have time but I just haven't decided how I want to do it yet um, so let's see what else is there to show uh, I guess the fishing shack but uh, that's about it um, there's also uh, there's also a mine down here but it's really boring it's literally just a mine there's nothing to see um, that would be down there. I'm probably going to close this up eventually. I don't remember putting these wood here. I wonder who did. Uh, I don't think it was me. Uh, anyway, so let's continue the tour. 
Oh, I nope, skipped this place. All right, so this is my original place where I set up base camp. Uh, this button removes seeds and stone swords, gold swords, and what else? What else did it? I forget what else it removed. Um, it was all oh, and rotten flesh is the other thing it removes. Let's see if I have any. So watch. Oh, gone. Um, yep, uses command blocks, and uh, it's just a disposal system. Nothing, nothing giving me free items or anything. Um, all right, so I'm gonna grab some food while I'm here because I'm almost out. I'm gonna drop off some wheat, and over here is my cow farm. Oh, my! Oh my gosh, my sheep farm. And my pig farm, which an Enderman got in and stole something from, so that's kind of mean. What a jerk. I, I absolutely hate Endermen. They completely, they really make this game unfun for me. Um, just because they take blocks, and I hate that. They really destroy the terrain I like. Anyway, there's the Alamanta Shrine that I've yet to take down, just like T. Calhoun. And now, uh, the, um, um, Fishing shacks right there. We're not. We, we've already visited that in episode fifty-three, probably. I don't know, something like that. Um, so now I am going to go ahead, and now we're going to go through this other portal. So to to re-register you where you are, if you're coming to my base, you come down here, take a right, you go in here. This is where I've got stuff stored. Um, and that little crack I made earlier about about Pecos stealing items from me. He thought that this was the nether hub at first because he, he didn't watch a lot of videos. He's been really busy and stuff. And he took some quartz out of here. I was just joking around. Um, and he's perfectly welcome to it because I don't use quartz a lot. So now, if you were to go through this tunnel or um, portal, um, all this does is it brings you up to that other portal that you could see. Because uh, originally I was going to put a, um, a castle up here. And I still plan on it. But I'm waiting for more blocks and stuff. Uh, I don't want to build it using so much um, stone brick and stuff. So I'm just kind of waiting to see. Um, I'm not really good at building castles, I found. Uh, so I, I'm just not 100% sure what I'm going to do yet. Now, if you continue through past there and you go this direction, uh, there's nothing over there. It just um, I've used this to, to make a zombie pigman farm where you can you can kill them and stuff. By the way, uh, something I forgot to mention, uh, the gold farm, if you're coming to the, if you're, you know, you're watching this video because you want to know where the gold farm is, it's literally this chest. If you just wait, this chest will fill up with items um, over time. It'll fill up with, with gold nuggets. Uh, and I've crafted these ones down here. Now, here's the thing. These gold nuggets are completely free for you to take. No, no questions asked. You can just take them. Um, now, uh, and also the iron here is from the iron farm, and I put this here for people to take as well. Um, now, if you want gold ingots and g blocks of gold, I will be selling those at the nether hub eventually. Um, so, but the nuggets are always free if you want to make the extra trip. And here we have some guys fell. Let's see if I can kill just the wither skeletons. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. It'd be really cool if I got a Wither Skeleton Skull out of that, but I don't think I did. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and check this. This is just where it's going right now. By the way, this used to be the mushroom farm I talked about briefly. There's that sword. And... I don't need the rest of this stuff, but it looks like I did not get a... Uh, with a skeleton skull, which is fine, totally fine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drop these off. Nope. Wishful thinking. I did not get that with a skeleton skull. Is what I said. <laughs> uh, anyway, now if you continue down here and you make a right and you go straight for just a few blocks, you'll see a portal at the end. This portal takes you to Jewel Bean's base. Um, just so you guys know, Jewel Bean is actually my wife. So you better respect the hell out of her. And here is her base. Um, between um, my busy schedule and watching the baby, she does not get to play all that much, but she's really done uh, some cool stuff with her base. So I just wanted to kind of pop in here, 
show you guys where it was. I really like what she's done with her stable. Um, anyway, so that's how you get to her base. Um, if you ever wanted to give her a present, uh, diamonds are a girl's best friend, so you could always come and give her free diamonds. Uh, anyway, I'm going to head back. All right. Let's continue. We're going to head back towards my base. All right, here we are. Now, I got to warn you guys, be careful not to hit the uh, zombie pigmen that are in here. Because if you do, they will come after you. And if, if one of these guys kills you and takes your items, you don't get them back. And if they kill you and your items get sorted in here, they're mine. <laughs> so um, just don't die around my base. That's the bottom line. All right. Now, um, I want to show you guys how to get to the iron farm. One way to get there is to take this path, which I'm not going to take because um, it's literally just a straight path. And I'm going to go ahead and take the rail line instead and show you that. So if you're heading towards my base, you recognize this area by now. If you're coming from my base, you'll go down here. And if you're in a cart, you'll push this button, even though it has proven to not work recently for whatever reason, even though that does work. Um, so you're going to go this way. And I'm going to go ahead and grab a mine cart to make this trip a little bit less monotonous. There we go. So I am going to take this mine cart down here. This is towards the iron farm. By the way, in case you don't know, the gold farm is actually hidden inside this wall. All right, here we are. That noise is really annoying. <laughs> um, gas must have hit this. I got to replace that soon. Uh, anyway, this is to the iron farm. So you just go through here. By the way, that path I was talking about earlier, that, that spits you out right here. So here we're going to go to the iron farm. And uh, keep in mind that the spawn used to be here. Like I set spawn here for a while. So it is just absolutely packed with iron. Um, if you were wondering, this is how we got the um, iron we needed for the Eiffel Tower prank. Um, and also I had a bunch of hoppers or um, anvils already. So... Uh, but this is how it works. You just sit here. It's based on Doc M's design. Very, very similar. Uh, except that the, the system here is a little bit different. Um, the killing. Uh, and then Macho put a thing here so you could go fishing. But it looks like um, it's been dismantled. I think I needed one of these blocks um, to finish this. And we can watch it in progress. And that is how this thing works. Let's watch one more. Oh, they're all coming from the right today. There you go. And as soon as they touch the tripwire, it opens up for them and then it comes back down. And that is how you get the iron. Now I'm going to take some of these uh, roses. I felt like I kept mousing over that and it changed from 25 to 35. That's just the way I was looking at it. Anyway, there's also a wood farm over here. Uh, and a cobble farm, a cobble generator, I should say, uh, for you to, oh, I almost fell. You know what? Actually, um, somebody, whether intentionally not understanding or doing it on purpose for whatever reason, the uh, water is missing from there. So I'm going to go ahead, because uh, if you fall down, you cannot get back up without this water. Um, so I am going to go ahead and take that water and put it right actually I'm going to put it right here uh, and then I'm going to show you so if you fall you're going to swim back up this thing and I'm, I'm coming down here to grab some water to replace for the uh, cobble generator and now we're going to speed through this okay now we're back up so that's a little bit safer. Kind of glad I came here to, to be able to do that. Let's put this back. And now let's head back to the nether. 
So that is how you get to the iron farm. Um, theoretically, there's more than one way to get here. We're going to be going the back way to show you how to get to other places. So remember, we came from my base. We, we took a right on the way back from my base or a left on the way to my base to get to here. Now we're going to head this direction. And I believe this looks like the work of, of Seaboss. Um, uh, putting the this used to not have a railing it used to I think be um, nether rack it was nice enough to make it a little bit safer uh, by the way to new members on the server and existing members on the server you'll notice that there's a lot of glowstone kind of hanging around well on this server and this isn't exactly a rule but it's just something that I like to promote is the idea that we don't touch uh, that much glowstone and we try to leave surface quartz visible because it makes the nether a lot nicer place to see same with the lava dripping down um, and then the way that we get glowstone is through the witch farm which is actually providing us quite a bit of glowstone now this right here clearly is going to take us to wow that's fast <laughs> this is going to take us to um sea boss's base so i'm just going to go ahead and show you that you can also get there from the iron farm all right so here's the portal And as promised, I'm going to go ahead and try to quickly get to the outside of his base and show you guys what that looks like. Um, but we can't spend a lot of time here because I have gotten lost here literally every single time I've come. So here's how you come out. And I think, yeah, there's the exit. <laughs> See, I almost got lost again. Um, all right, so this is the outside of his base. He's got this really cool red, um, it almost looks like a red tapestry coming down uh, using the redstone blocks. Uh, and then he's got some cool stuff going on over here. Let's see if I can get a good view. I'm afraid of creepers because this place doesn't seem that well lit. Man, that guy is tracking me from a mile away. Anyway, so so this is what his base looks like. It's I, I personally really dig this look. I don't know how he found... I know for a fact that he did find this though. I'm pretty sure he found a, um, a giant um, fully stone like mountain up there um, which is pretty cool and he just decided to turn that into a fortress oh. anyway I, I really dig this place I think he's a great builder uh, so let's go ahead and I already forgot where I came from was it up here was it this way I don't think it was see I'm lost dang it oh it's these doors right Yeah, I think so. All right, so we're gonna head back because, like I like I was just saying, this is a very dangerous place because you you can get lost very easily here. Um, all right, so now we've shown this off. Let's go back to the Nether. Now I'd like to reiterate and say that you can take this path and head to uh, the Nether Hub, but we're gonna continue down back to towards uh, our Stong's base. Alrighty, so here we are. That is where we just came from before. That was towards the iron farm. And now we're heading towards our Stong's base. Uh, and apparently Seaboss has some uh, some more platforms and paths. I think that that was the one we talked about way earlier in the video about how we could probably head to this path. Um, I'm almost positive that's what that is. So we're going to go ahead and continue towards our Stong's base and we're going to look at it from a little bit of a different angle this time. And all right, so here we are again. You guys remember this? Towards Cyphers, to the hub, towards Inverted Shadow. And I was telling you earlier about how this is a, a direction towards a um, mushroom island that's near Arstong's base. Uh, and originally Arstong's portal was down here. That's what this is about. So there's really no point in going down here. Uh, he simply moved the portal up uh, to be in a safer environment. And I put this portal here and left him this sign. Uh, and I, I guess he ended up uh, doing exactly that, breaking the portal and lighting this one. All right, so now, as promised, we're gonna look at this way to get to his base, because this seems like the way that he prefers you take now. It's really the way he prefers to take, you know. Uh, and I didn't bring a minecart, so that kind of stinks. That's kind of cool. 
Anyway, so just bear with me. You guys watch, and I'll just zip through this. All right, so that didn't take long at all. <laughs> Uh, but actually, there's more over here, but I'm going to go ahead and jump up here because I believe this is that uh, little outpost uh, we looked at earlier today in this video. Yay, more music. Yep, that is what this is. Yeah, I remember this half-eaten cake. Um, I wonder if this is the birthday cake that I left him um, for my birthday last year. So we're going to continue down here. All right, now I believe we just came from that way, so we're going to head this way. Oh, and uh, because there's this here, let's go ahead and use it. I should probably go take that path. Sorry, Arstong, I totally let your cart get out of the way. I believe this is the way... Well, actually, I don't know. I think this is the middle, actually. I think this is where that zombie uh, came after us before. Bummer. <laughs> that is, in fact, what this is. All right, so just to give you guys a little reference of where we are, we just we were just in that building. Um, now we're halfway towards the building that I showed you guys a little bit earlier. All right, so now we are in his main base. Um, I spent some time here with uh, Inverted Shadow at one time. And, oh, wow, that was an interesting. There must be sheep up there. Um, I spent some time here with, with Inverted Shadow in an episode where we, uh, I think it was the episode titled Welcome Pecos. Uh, we, we, we used a bunch of chicken eggs, um, and spawned a bunch of chickens at Arstong's base for a prank. Um, and let's see, uh, over here, I put this here, this is very, this is the exact same thing that's at the hub. Um, I was encouraging Arstong, I was trying to get him to, um, be more motivated to continue playing. This is the same system that's set up at the hub, where you press a button, you get a stack of chiseled stone bricks, and um, what you would do is you would replace a stack, like you'd throw a stack away and take a stack of that. Same would be a stack of normal um, stone to get to get this kind of, of stone that you can't actually get in the game anymore. Keep in mind when you break this, it drops the regular types of slabs, and then of course this one as well will give you um, this type of stone slab, which uh, you can't actually place either. This is actually the top of sandstone on all sides. We showed you this at Pecos's base, uh, how he was able to integrate that into the into the stuff he currently had. Now I'm going to go ahead and throw this stuff away. Um, I'm gonna get farther away because I'm just going to pick it up uh, because I did not replace this. Um, and then also, just for your information, uh, at the hub we have an uh, ice dispenser. Uh, or you supposed to throw away ice and then you get water that you can place in the nether um, and for the most part that's only supposed to be used for really just for decoration and minor things you're not really you know you're not supposed to use it to get obsidian or whatever looks like he's got a cobble generator right here um, I believe this is from the Christmas present I gave him uh, it was funny in episode 25 when I gave everybody Christmas presents was that yeah I think that was the time when I did that yeah um Pretty much everybody's base ended up being in an ugly biome, so the the presents looked terrible in them. Uh, here's the beacon. Yeah, it looks like he did actually end up uh, doing something with the beacon, whereas the other people like T. Calhoun has not made use of it yet. So here's Arstong's base. And I'm going to go... Yeah, I guess I'm going to go back uh, oh, up here instead of taking the rail back, just to kind of remind you guys um, how it looked. You know, where registering where you are. Um, Arstong's base is not a place that a lot of new members are probably going to try to visit. Um, you know, there's nothing here like a witch hut or anything. There's no farms, really. Um, but it's a place where you can, you know, this is where you want to come if you want to pay him a visit, you know, drop something off, give him a present, um, prank him, whatever you want to do. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and head back to the nether. All right. Now, uh... I believe this is the last place we're going to go. We're going to head towards Inverted Shadow Space. So um, I'll see you guys. We'll, we'll just time lapse it there. All right, here we are. We've got two Arstong, two Cypress, and two the Iron Farm. Actually, we should add uh, Sea Boss to this list as well. Um, 
and then over here there's just some fire uh, and then this will take you towards T Calhoun so let's go ahead and just look real quick I'm not actually gonna take this path you can take that path straight to where T Calhoun's little base is and here now we are at inverted shadows base uh, inverted shadow was actually uh, the best man at my wedding um, and uh, by the way to mention about our song I think we already talked about our song but I, I went to high school with him um, so yeah it looks like uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, you know, a lot of the guys that I that I started this server with have been super busy and haven't really done a lot um, since then. Um, I did a video. I don't remember if I cut this out or not of the video, but I did a video here. I think it was episode 48. I spent some time here and we, we built that, uh, showing him how beacons worked. What do we got? Speed? Yep. I told him if he uh, if he placed more blocks there that the speed would, well, I guess it won't increase. You'd have to, you'd have to up it to speed too, but I think I taught him how to do that in the video. Um, anyway, uh, so I just wanted to kind of show you guys uh, Inverted Shadows Base. And then, um, you know what, we will go back towards our, uh, towards our song, towards T. Calhoun's base. And we will end this recording at the Nether Hub. So here's Inverted Shadows Base. He's got a swamp base, which is still pretty cool. Um, well put together. Um, and one of the cool things about it is Inverted Shadows, uh, um, not as, a, as an experienced player uh, as most of the people on here. Um, more experienced than Jake and NAC303, but um, not as much as most anybody else. But it's really cool to see the mind of a, a younger, um, like somebody who's not as experienced in this game, because uh, it really reminds you of the way you used to build. And I really dig seeing that uh, on the server. Um, and it's really funny because I'll show him things like that he doesn't know exist in the game, like pistons, and just his response is always hilarious. Anyway, so let's go ahead and uh, zip back to, uh, there's the uh, present I gave him. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, I had to leave that for him because I accidentally took it with me one day. when I uh, The day that I put the beacon up here, I, I took this down because similar to uh, T. Calhoun's present, which still had it up there, I took it down uh, to get the beacon. Anyway, uh, let's head back to T. Calhoun's base, um, or the, the area towards T. Calhoun's base, uh, and then we will end this video at the Nether Hub. All right, so we're heading towards T. Calhoun. All right, so once you get to this point, um, it's not that hard to see, but there's a little path right here. You're going to go up here. And this, one time, uh, actually for, for Christmas, I gave everybody on the server a present. I think it was, hold on. All right, <laughs> anyway, um, I think it was for Christmas I, when I was giving people a bunch of presents. Uh, for T. Calhoun, I went and I, I put out all the fires around it, around here. Uh, and they have all come back. <laughs> Not nearly as much as we're here at one point. Uh, and he put up these little walls here as protection from the ghast. Um, looks like I killed him over here. Maybe I'll get a ghast here. Not that I've ever, ever used the ghast here for anything in this game. I guess to use them for brewing. Never made that potion because I just don't, uh, I don't do a lot of brewing. Like I said, I only use potions for, um, um, for converting zombie villagers back into regular villagers. Anyway, so this is actually the thing with T. Calhoun. Oh, that scared me. T. Calhoun's uh, portal is encased in. So that's how you get here. It's a little bit uh, of a difficult way around, but um, if you're trying to get to the hub and you're at inverted shadows base for whatever reason, uh, you can get there from here and you can hear some villagers. Let's see if I can get over there. Oh, nope. All right, we're going to find another way up. Uh, this is a pain. <laughs> We're going to go this way. Oh, here's a bunch of brown mushrooms, by the way. Now I know that T. Calhoun's base has been hogging them all. I'm, I'm kidding, of course. All right. So, right in here, just to remind you guys, what we're looking at, that's T. Calhoun's portal. Um, and I didn't show you guys this before, and I'm not really going to go into detail, but there's another way in uh, from right here. 
Um, I think this goes to his other base. Or, well, sort of. It sort of goes to his other base. It leads down out to another path, which goes to his other base that we didn't visit. Because um, I, quite frankly, I don't know exactly how to get there right now. And it's not really, it's barely started, so there's no point uh, at the moment in, in heading down that way. Um, by the way, I want to take this opportunity to thank Cal, uh, T. Calhoun again for um, for taking part in the Dots and Lines video with me. Um, that was very, very great of you. Um, haven't had a lot of time to uh, spend with my friends outside of Minecraft for a while, so it was great to have some time with him inside of Minecraft. And uh, we are almost back to the hub. So, all right, you guys, I, I know this video has probably been a bit confusing, um, but I, I hope it's really helped you sort of grasp where things are on the server. And for new members, I really hope it's helped you to feel like you know everything. <laughs> I don't know, I kind of doubt it does. But uh, here we are, we're back at the hub. We're going to return to the spawn village. And uh, we will call this the end of an episode. All right, you guys. Uh, thanks again for watching. Um, I hope you've enjoyed. Take it easy.